you guys, it's David here. Welcome to another Devotional Saturday. And we are officially into the first week of 2022. It has already flown by for me, which means, what, we have one week down, another 51 weeks to go. I'm curious, what are you doing with your time this year? Do you have any plans, goals? Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Uh, before we get started with today's devotional, I just want to go over a couple things about the devotionals that I used last year. Um, two of them were both from Walter Henriksen. One was Thoughts from the Diary of a Desperate Man, and the title is getting worn off. And the other one is Warnings for a People Not Listening to God. Um, so some of those devotionals I used on Saturdays were from these two books. If you'd like to get them, you can go. I don't think they're on Amazon, uh, but uh, the website is leadershipfoundation.org. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll put it in the link below. Uh, the other devotional that I used was Turning Points with God by David Jeremiah. This is my favorite one. I'm going to use it again, so you will continue to have devotions um, this year from here. And probably from here, because I wrote down a bunch that I wanted to use that I haven't used last year. So you might hear from these ones again, but I won't be reading them this year. Uh, but yeah, I will be reading this one again this year. Another one that I will be reading again this year this year. Um, is the Duck Commander devotional by Duck Dynasty. I'm sure you guys know them. Phil, Willie, Jazz, Cy, you know, the tea guy. Rhymes. <laughs> and uh, um, so I'll be reading through here as well. And then today's devotional will be from, which I just picked this up. It looked really good. It's from uh, uh, John Maxwell, the Maxwell Daily Reader. And it's about leadership. It says 365 days of insight to develop the leader within you and influence those around you. And today's devotional really caught my eye. Um, it's titled, You Are Your Lens. Ooh. Ready? Here we go. Who are you... Wait. Start over. Who you are determines the way you see everything. You cannot separate your identity from your perspective. All that you are and every experience you've had color how you see things. It is your lens. Here's what I mean. A traveler nearing a great city asked an old man seated by the road, What are the people like in this city? What were they like where you came from? The man asked. Horrible, the traveler reported. Meanwhile, mean, untrustworthy, untrust detestable in all respects. Ah, said the old man. You will find them the same in the city ahead. Scarcely had the first traveler gone on his way when another stopped to inquire about the people in the city before him. Again, the old man asked about the people in the place the traveler has just left. They were fine people, honest, industrious, and generous to a fault, declared the second traveler. I was sorry to leave, the old man responded. That's exactly how you'll find the people here. The way people see others is a reflection of themselves. If I am a trusting person, I will see others as trustworthy. If I am a critical person, I will see others as critical. If I am a caring person, I will see others as compassionate. If you change yourself and become the kind of person you desire to be, you will begin to view others in a whole new light. And that will change the way you interact in all of your relationships. And then there's a little verse at the bottom. Uh, be aware of your lens today as you interact with others. So yes, yeah, so what's your perspective on things? And uh, two Bible verses pop up in my head. And the first one that pops up is from Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Get out the other Bible. And it says, for as he thinks within himself, so he is. How true is that? Though, If that's what you think, it's, it's, it's your reality. It's true for you. So, you know, think about it. If you're always thinking negative thoughts, if you're always complaining about everything, you know, that's how you perceive it. You know, you got to change your focus. Start thinking on the positive. Think on the Lord's kingdom. And your eyes will open up to a whole new world to you. And then another verse that pops up in my head is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you need to take your thoughts, change it. Grass isn't always green on the other side, but it's also not always a desert, as, as a lot of people see it. I have friends who are always complaining about everything. Nothing ever goes right. Um, and then you have friends who are constantly always positive. You know, there's a, um, a saying, which I, I totally believe, 
it says, you know, you are the average of the five people you hang out with. So look around at the people you also hang out with. You know, if you're hanging out, um, you know, with positive people, you're going to be more positive. If you're hanging out with the negative people, you're going to be more negative. And I think about that, you know, the more you spend time with Jesus, the more you hang out with Jesus, the more you're going to be like Jesus. The more you're going to see through, like, his lens, the world. And if you hang out more with the worldly people, you're going to see things as the worldly stuff is. So just want to leave that with you for this week. So go out this week, change your perspective, ask the Lord for his desires for you, see the world through his lens, um, be positive, crack a smile for people if you don't normally smile, if you're out in public, just have a better view on things. If something's not going right for the day, you know, just be thankful for, hey, you know, I got this day, we got through it, and the next day is new. So just be positive, guys. All right, so that's all I got for you today. Uh, till next week, I'll see you then. All right, love you. Peace. I'm out.